a terrific Tuesday. Thanks. yesterday that my weigh-in for my second to last diet bet <clears throat> was rejected this morning I was able to redo my weigh-in uh, submitted it um, I this time I actually did wait around before like eating breakfast or anything um, it was accepted and approved so I think I won my second to last diet bet I've got one more to complete <clears throat> I believe that ends tomorrow that's the uh, diet bet from obese to beast. Um, I should be okay making that weight as well. That's going to wrap up my diet bets. So I'm not going to do any more after this. I did notice the comments on <clears throat> the one uh, that I weighed in for today that a lot of people were having problems with the weigh-ins not working, not being accepted. Um, I don't know. So, you know, I was a little bit stressed out this morning trying to worry about my weigh-in and you know, whether I should eat breakfast or not. And so, in a way, I'm glad that I'm being able to put these behind me. Today, I opened up my Verb Ultra 30 camera. I uh, really haven't had a chance to play with it much. Uh, I really just charged it, so I haven't really been able to get around and use it too much. Um, it came with this waterproof case, which obviously you can put in to, you know, take it in the water. Um, it has a GoPro compatible mount on the bottom, but apparently the audio is not very good when you're using this case. So I went ahead and bought this. It's like a separate case and actually comes with a uh, like a lens protector. Um, this also has a GoPro style mount on it and allows the audio to be heard much better than in the waterproof case. The other thing I ordered was a microphone adapter cable because I want to try this camera with an external mic. Um, I already own this uh, Rode Video Micro uh, external microphone, so I want to try it with the camera just to see how it works, um, see if it's something I can use for vlogging. The camera in this extra case, um, I actually found a review on YouTube uh, from another channel uh, it's called MTB Drop-In. He does a really good review of the camera and this case in particular and also using a gimbal mount for mountain bike riding um, provides really smooth footage. And that's kind of what I base my, my buying on. I really want to use this for mountain biking. Um, anyway, really great review. It's got really good mountain bike footage. I'll put a link uh, to his channel down in the description if you want to take a look and see. That's the kind of footage I'm looking to get. And speaking of mountain biking, I may be able to use this tomorrow. Tomorrow they are calling for temperatures I believe to be in the low to mid 60s and sunny. Which is crazy because tomorrow evening they're calling for a drastic drop in temperatures and then six to ten inches of snow. So, yeah, weather's gonna be pretty crazy over the next 24 to 48 hours. It'd be great if I could get a, a ride in at lunch. I'm probably just gonna ride down the path. Um, I don't have a gimbal yet, so I would be testing this without a gimbal. But it sounds like the weather's gonna be great tomorrow, so hopefully I can get out on a quick lunchtime bike ride.